Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can extend your C drive in Windows 10 without any software. So let's get started and let's see how we can do this. So first of all, I'm going to go to my file explorer and then go to my PC. And here you can see I have uh, two drives here. One is C drive and other is uh, E drive. And I want to transfer some space from E drive to my C drive. So let's see how we can uh, do this. So go to your search uh, bar here and then search for disk management. And the result which you will see here will be uh, about disk management or you will see create and format hard disk partition. So just click on this option which says create and format hard disk partition. And once uh, this uh, window opens, you will be able to see all your drives here. If you have two different physical hard drives, then you will see the extra drive here at the bottom also. So now I can see C drive and E drive. And as I have shown you that around 62.6 uh, GB is free out of 71.6 GB. So that means around 9 GB of space is taken inside this E drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just provide 20 GB of uh, space for the data which I have inside my E drive and rest of the space I'm going to just allocate to the my C drive. So now go to uh, this uh, disk management window and then right click on the E drive and then click on shrink volume here which is going to give you this uh, window. So you can see total size before shrinking is around 72 GB size of available shrink, shrink space is around 62 GB and as I said I want to free around 20 GB for the data which I have in my E drive. So how much byte is 20 GB? Let's uh, open our calculator. I'm going to open my calculator and here I'm going to uh, just write 1024 multiplied by 20 which is around 20480. So I'm going to just write 20480 here 20480 which is around 20 GB and then I'm going to just click on the shrink button which is going to shrink this space and you can see exactly 20 GB is uh, freed from E drive and it's now unallocated. So now once you see here uh, 20 GB unallocated just right click on the unallocated uh, space and then click on new simple volume and then click on next and then click on next. So you just need to follow all these steps. All the steps are default. You just need to uh, select any drive name here which are available. So by default F is chosen for me. So I will just uh, leave it as uh, F but you can choose any letter for your drive name, right? Click on next and leave everything as default. You can uh, just name your uh, volume anything I will leave it as default which is new volume and then click on next and click on finish which is going to create this new volume. Now once you go to your uh, file explorer you will see uh, this new uh, drive which will be created right. So now once you have uh, this new volume you can uh, just copy all the data which are uh, present inside your E drive or, or whatever you drive you want to free and then paste all the data here okay so i'm just backing up all the data from my e drive to the f drive so once you have backed up all your data from your e drive to your f drive that means you can format this e drive right so i'm going to go to the disk management window once again and now i can click on the e drive so make sure that before proceeding you have backed up all the data which is there in the e drive to your f drive or whatever drive name you have now what you can do is you can just uh, right click on your e drive and you will see format option here and a delete volume option here but as you can see in my case this delete volume option and the format option is grayed or disabled so i cannot uh, delete this volume by default or format this volume. So if in your case this delete volume is uh, 
enabled then you just need to delete your volume otherwise if this uh, option is grayed out and it's not enabled then what you need to do is you just need to go here in your search bar and search for advanced system settings and then click on the first option which says view advanced system settings and then go in the advanced tab here so just click on advanced and then click on settings under performance uh, section and then once again go to advanced and then click on the change button here and you will see this kind of window now the reason uh, this e drive is not available for delete or format is because it contains this page files and primary partition right so we need to just change the location of page file to the c drive so what you need to do is you just need to uncheck this box which is automatically manage uh, page file size for all devices and then you just need to select your drive which is e drive in my case and i will just check on this radio button which says no page files and then click on set which is going to uh, remove the page files from here and then i can uh, just set the page file options to the c drive so i'm going to just say set manage size and then click on set so i have checked no paging file for e drive and for c drive i have checked system managed size and then click ok and then click ok and then click ok now at this point you just need to reboot your system so that these settings will uh, be saved on your windows operating system so i'm going to just reboot my system power and restart and once i'm logged in again i'm going to just go to uh, disk management once again and i'm going to just uh, click on create and format hard disk partition and then uh, maximize this window and now i can uh, just right click here and then delete this volume okay so if this option is uh, available straight away to you you can just click on the delete volume otherwise uh, just do what i have told you about the page files so i'm going to just say delete volume here and then click yes so now you can see this uh, space is unallocated and now the process is very simple for extending uh, the space for the c drive so if you see unallocated here you just need to right click on your c drive and then click on extend volume and here you just need to click on next and just leave everything default click next and then click finish and you will see uh, that now my space in the c drive is extended to around 80 gb so i'm going to go to my uh, file explorer once again and then i'm going to go to my pc you will see that now i have 80 gb available and 53.6 gb is free out of that space okay so this is how you can extend your c drive on your windows 10 operating system I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.